Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about the important concepts of the cloud like Azure VNet or AWS VPC or GCP VPC. So let us see what is this VNet or VPC. So uh, if you want to um, publish anything on the cloud, uh, for example, you may need to use some kind of resources such as EC2 instances or the Azure VM instances or app services or something, right? So for example, if you're using a virtual missions that is Azure VMs, uh, like 10 instances of them, do you want to expose all of them or you want to keep it private? So if you are constructing a home, do you want to give so many doors to access from anywhere or you want to just make it private? So if you take this uh, picture as an example, uh, you opened your house from anywhere and it is very hard to protect from all the doors, right? If you have only one door uh, to access the house, then it will be easy to focus on the particular door or provide the security to that particular door. So what will you do? Usually you will just provide a single door access rather than constructing so many uh, doors. Similarly, on the cloud, if you are constructing 20 VMs, do you want to give the access or to, do you want to generate the public IP to all those 20 virtual machines and app services and other resources or do you want to keep it private and open a single door? That's all about the VNet or VPC. So what it happens? Uh, when you can, uh, when you are using some VMs or EC2 instances, so you can see in the picture, you can you are making it as private, and you are opening one door to the public, right? So that's how you can make your private cloud on the cloud also. So Azure VNet or AWS VPC will help you to uh, make such kind of setup on the cloud, right? So now we assume that you have a private cloud. The next one is NAT gateway. So in case you want to have some backspace and you still need to have some kind of backdoor because to, to use that private space, but it's not publicly available, right? Any outsider still should come from the front door, but this is only the private access. So in such kind of scenarios on the private cloud also, like say you have 20 VMs, and you still want to update those VMs with the operating system level updates or the softwares which got updates, those all need some kind of internet access, which is like outbound traffic, but not inbound traffic. So for such kind of things, you can use a NAT gateway. NAT gateway will help you to bring the data, but this is not public, this particular VM or the resource is not publicly available, but it still bring the outbound traffic to into your subnet. Now let us have a look on uh, internet gateway. So what is this? So you assume that you want to give a public access uh, to your house, but only to the front gate while they are entering that also you will check whether they have the uh, enough authorization such as access code to enter into the uh, on premises, right? Similarly, onto your private cloud if you want to allow some kind of traffic for example you hosted a website on particular vm and you want to open that website to your public access but anyway you have all all type of mechanisms to check whether that guy has enough credentials to authorize that or not all those things will be available but you want to first make it publicly available then what will you do then internet gateway will help you so internet gateway will help you to open your private cloud to the public in terms of like if you want to give access or connect to your on-premises networking or you want to just give the access to your website so that inbound and outbound traffic can be smooth so that's where internet gateway will help you to connect to different networks or also to the public hope it is clear i'll come up with more videos thanks for watching my videos